Pisces, what up though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general reading for the sign of Pisces, wherever that resonates at for you in your chart. Keep in mind, we all have a 12th house. Time and energy are fluid, so take what resonates and leave the rest for someone else. These readings are timeless, y'all, so whenever you stumble across this message, there will be something here for you to help bring you clarity, confirmation, to help you align, to help empower you. Pisces, tapping into your energy, I use this uh, illuminated earth oracle deck to help me catch a vibe as I'm connecting. And man, this is sort of a intense message that came through, you guys. First, I want to say the eruption, the destruction, and the combustion card all came out together. What I'm feeling from this message, what I'm feeling from what's happening um, in my Pisces energy is that something is happening, some type of karmic, um, whether it's a relationship or situation, is there's something happening within that situation that's causing this wake up right to help you move through this obstacle get past this blockage whatever it may be to help you realize some things and i'm truly seeing um some evolution happening here some growth it does feel literally like an awakening a spiritual awakening or just this something happening that's awakening you to your gifts to your abilities to your truth um, on a deep level tapping really deeply into the mystery into the unknown um, so kind of cryptic I know very intense as well spirit is saying that my Pisces are strong that y'all will get through this that y'all are getting through this and right now it's a really good time for reflection for meditation for getting out in nature for really tapping in deeply and I just heard Oh, wow. And on the bottom of the tarot deck over here, we do have the judgment. I think other water signs today got the judgment card as well. So a lot of intense energies, a lot of deep awakenings happening for my water signs. Um, feel free to check out the other, the Scorpio and Cancer reading. If you have any Cancer Scorpio in your chart or if you just feel guided to do that, all of these messages have been pretty intense today. So with that being said, though, we are going to say a quick prayer. We're going to jump into this tarot, Divine Mother, Father, Holy Spirit of the Most High Spirit, guides, Guardian Angels, Archangels, Ancestors, messages for my Piscean family for their highest good. Anything my Pisces need to hear, anything my Pisces need to know, any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation, any messages that will empower my Pisces, any messages that will help them align to their highest timeline, to their best life, to the divine will, will be greatly appreciated. All praise and glory forever and ever. I will say um, with that devil, this is sort of that karmic situation popping out um so again i know it resonates differently for everyone maybe this was a job maybe this was some type of family situation maybe this was a relationship where something happened and it's like things are in motion now however that resonates so let's jump into this tarot and see what we have <clears throat> spirit what do we have here for my pisces in the past energies yeah for some of you it's family or friends or co-workers something like that maybe pretty chaotic around you right now what is going on with my pisces in the past Yes. Okay. Thank you. What's going on right now for my Pisces spirit? For a lot of you, this is in a romantic relationship, okay? This is part of your healing journey. This is part of your destiny. Um, to go through whatever this is. It's part of your growth. It's it's helping you to learn what is incoming for my Pisces. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, okay, okay. How about the advice? Wow, you guys, lots of major arcana coming out in the theme of the reading. This is a very deep 
healing message here, Pisces, and it's sort of been like that. I think Scorpio's reading was similar uh, when it comes to the healing aspect. And in the past energies, there was a situation, and I feel like maybe some of my Pisces felt stuck in this situation, or uh, maybe I'm getting the feeling from this Four of Cups that it's a situation that maybe you weren't happy in, but you were comfortable, right? You were used to it, you were comfortable in some way. Um, but it really looks like you were realizing the truth like yo this is keeping me stuck this is keeping me bound this is keeping me re this is restricting me in some way maybe you were getting clarity that this was some type of karmic situation i don't know if you just heard the computer talking to us but um i think spirit agrees um it's like an, an opportunity came in here for you to move into your victory and I see that with this opportunity. And it's like maybe you just weren't paying attention because you were trying to work this out or because you were just in a funk or whatever this may have been. What I'm seeing now is where you're sort of realizing that you need to leave this situation behind. Maybe some of my Pisces are already leaving this situation behind. Maybe you've left energetically a long time ago and you're physically like getting the game plan together to move. Um, <clears throat> what I will say is in your current energy, we have the five of cups. In your past energy, we have the four of cups, you guys. Together, that equals the nine of cups. So it's almost like my Pisces are focusing on or stuck in a situation where things are not right. You're focusing on these empty cups in whatever way that resonates. You're focusing on this cup that is spilling. And in both cards, there is this cup that is right outside of your view. Um, with this being both of these cards and there being two cups, it's almost like I'm feeling intuitively like this is some type of romantic relationship where spirits like, yo, there's true love right over here but we're focused on this BS situation in whatever way that resonates. Maybe because you feel stuck in it. Maybe because you don't feel you deserve better. Um, but with the overall theme and the you know first message that came through, it's like something here is happening that's getting things in motion, that's getting things going. And I see my Pisces really deciding to work on themselves and stay focused, maybe working on a new business or your job or a project or just your own spiritual growth where you're learning, you're, you know, listening or reading books. Um, you are doing research here and spirit really wants you to know that all of your hard work is going to pay off. And I truly mean that because you have this ten of pentacles out here so it's like you're learning you're studying you're growing and you're like okay this is what i deserve this is what i'm going to start heading towards and you have the nine of pentacles in the theme of your reading and so all of these seeds that you're planting right now especially with this fertility um message that came through at the beginning it's like very fertile soil right now to plant these seeds to get this game plan together up in the astral get a vision board together do some scripting do some writing write down your goals write down what it is you would like to manifest and continue to leave behind anything that is no longer serving you because you deserve happiness and i feel like the tables are turning in your favor in a big way here karmic contract complete you've fulfilled the contract and now the tables are turning in your favor to bring you toward this happiness this healing this joy here with the sun the nine of pentacles so you're definitely my pisces you're leaving an old chapter behind you're leaving a situation behind this has not been an easy situation to deal with this has not been an easy decision to make to really take out that sort of justice that sort of clarity to use that mind and overcome the fears overcome the anxieties the insecurities and say this is what i deserve this is what i'm moving toward but i'm seeing my pisces do it i'm seeing the universe coming through spirit coming through and dropping you blessings because of your hard work because you decided to stand up for yourself because you decided to make the decision that was best for you and that's exactly what i see here in the incoming energy for my pisces it's like okay i'm not afraid anymore I'm done being afraid. I'm done stressing about this. I'm done feeling anxiety over this. And I am turning away from whatever this is. And I'm moving toward what it is I deserve. I'm going to create magic. 
I am going to make magic. I'm going to create this new job, this new life, this new home, whatever it may be. You guys, so this is, I really do see you sort of getting back to that drawing board writing these things down Pisces use your visualization your water power your emotions bring up the vision of what your best life looks like feel those feelings you guys my water signs that is one of your superpowers where you can really evoke these emotions um, into your current moment to help create the reality <clears throat> that you deserve right Check out some Neville Goddard. I know you probably have heard me say that before, but really tap in with some of his work um, and start doing those exercises, y'all. Also, the subconscious reprogramming to start getting these programs that are automatically running on our computer, right, on ourself um, to work for you instead of working against you, right? Um, and so that's really what I see. I see a massive reprogramming. I see a massive awakening. And I really see you diving deep into your superpowers here, Pisces, to create what it is you deserve to create the life that you want. Um, your advice here, Ace of Swords, Queen of Swords, Fool. This is where my Pisces emotionally disconnect a little bit. And again, you're not leading with fear. You're not leading with your insecurities. You're not e leading with your pride, with your ego. You are taking this clarity, this logical approach. Okay, this is what things are. This is what I'm being guided to do. This is what I'm going to do. You're taking that sword. You're cutting yourself free. And you're trusting that the universe is truly leading you into something new, something better. You're following that Pisces intuition. You are trusting the divine. And this is in your advice it's really go for the gold trust the universe trust that you are being guided away from a karmic situation and into alignment with where you're really supposed to be not only on a deeply healing level but also bringing in this joy this love this abundance this happiness ultimately though this is very very healing energy so make sure you are healing Make sure you are diving into that shadow work. Make sure you are um, cleansing your energy right now. Spirit wants you to know that the worst of the storm is over with and you are moving out of a toxic situation, right? With divine intervention coming through to knock this structure down, um, you're moving away from some shady energies, whether this was someone lying, cheating, stealing, withholding truths, um, something like that, somebody sneaking around. Um, this is what you're moving away from. So beautiful energy and it looks like it's coming in hot. So try not to let yourself get in this funk. Pisces and Spirit is saying that we have the key to this door of our destiny right here. So pick yourself up. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Um, before we tap out, we're going to grab some Oracle cards. I have this Moonology deck and this Kali Oracle as well. And if anybody wants to take a deeper dive into your situation, you can always reach out, pop at me, book a personal session. You can shoot me a message on social media. You can shoot me an email. I will get back with you as soon as I can. I told the other signs as well. Um, I am running a little bit behind on my messages. Um, so if you've already sent one and I haven't got to you, please know that I'm not ducking you. There is a website in the process of, of being put up. Um, so it'll make the booking process a lot easier on everyone. Um, so I appreciate your patience. I appreciate the love and support, y'all. Thank y'all. I really enjoy connecting on that deeper personal level. We're really doing this work over here, y'all. And, you know, we are the change. We are the change. And this work is not easy. But this is exactly what it takes is stepping out of that fear, fam, shifting our focus toward the future and really making it happen. It's that time. Spirit, what do we have here for my Pisces family? Thank you. Thank you. Luck is on your side. I believe Scorpio got that card as well. You're very close to achieving your goal. They got both of those and I definitely shuffle these cards big time this energy is gaining momentum and prosperity lies ahead we're gonna read this waxing moon oh there there it went somewhere <laughs> during the waxing moon cycle hope springs eternal this card is a very positive omen 
indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of, though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet. There is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building as well. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track. The attuned to the moon for this card, y'all, says, I know I'm headed in the right direction. The additional meanings for this card are, the situation is full of potential. Your dream can come true. Um, more effort is yet required. Are you willing to give it? Review your goals and ensure you're still committed and keep moving forwards, y'all keep moving forwards i thought we had the ten of wands out here as well but let's go the sun is right there over the horizon this is a very very good omen especially with the sun being out here justice and the wheel of fortune you guys major shift for my pisces family um all of your hard work truly going to pay off here so congratulations y'all just know that i'm right here with y'all we're all just walking each other home and again i wanted to say in case I forgot, I'm just being drawn back to this four and five of cups. It's like we can stay focused on the negative, on the empty cups, but then we're missing out on true love, right? There's two cups right there behind us. There's love. There's things to be grateful for. There's opportunity here, um, not only for healing, but for happiness, Pisces. So let's get it. Divine Mother, message for my fishies. What do we have here for my Pisces? So this sort of ties in with your nine of swords in reverse. Do not allow negative thought or speech to undermine your inner spiritual connection. Claim your voice and your power to express yourself from your heart. Though it may not be yet visible in your physical world, a new world or a new order is generating within the soul, and in time it shall manifest in a transformation that heals your inner world and improves your physical life circumstances too. Your most abundant successes manifest when you are aligned with your integrity. You do not need to put your faith in pathways or projects that do not resonate with your deeper spiritual knowing. Everything that is happening in your life is part of how your prayers are being answered. A new order is to be established and you are being led to it. I just keep seeing this I'm being drawn to this prosperity lies ahead and this nine of pentacles, y'all. So whatever you're doing, I see major success and spirit really saying to work through your fears. Can I get one more card, Ma, for my Piscean? Gang, gang. Thank you. You can have what you need and desire, but you must be prepared to enter into the sacred fire to make the appropriate offering. Shift from focusing on what isn't working out to handing over all concerns as a prayer offering to the divine all can then be resolved and shall manifest according to loving and generous grace and another one came out as well knowing what to allow and what to fight for or against requires wisdom chamunda is the fearlessness wisdom patience and discipline required to conquer a difficult situation chamunda is the power to accomplish what you need and desire she is with you now her presence now portends to a truly exceptional breakthrough on your path pisces sheesh big energies coming through for y'all family I just want to say thank y'all so much for being here. Um, I love and appreciate y'all so much. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will to draw in cosmic divine energy, prana, chi, ki. We're going to fill our bodies up. We're going to pause, hold the breath at the top, lock that divine energy into our heart space. Watch ourselves glowing brighter and brighter gold or white like this sunshine right here. Um, and as we release, 
we are going to watch any negativity, any anxiety, any fear, any blockages, any sadness, any anger, any lower frequencies whatsoever. We're going to watch it all in the form of black or gray smoke or static, leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that. So let's get this breath in, guys. Breathe in. Hold it, squeeze Mulabanda, raise that energy up, lock it in your heart space, watch yourself glowing brighter and brighter, and release. Pisces family, make sure y'all drop that sunshine emoji down in the comment section to claim this reading. Make sure y'all smash that thumbs up and make sure y'all catch me on the next one sending y'all tons of love and hope everybody has a blessed rest of your day peace